All right. So before we begin to talk about any of the 2.3 stuff that's added, this has actually been recorded a little bit after I recorded the first part. Um, we're going to we're just going to take a second. We're going to talk about the good old fashioned data mine. Of course, our good friends over at Game Press continue to do awesome. You know, Naz, Zanuck, that other guy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of course, uh, Kaz, we can't forget you. But uh, anyways, let's uh, let's let's take a look at the character stats, shall we? This, of course, includes Jerome as well, who's also there and dare I say looking stylish. All right. So we're, of course, at the top. That is level one stats for your neutral. And then, of course, at the bottom, that is your level 40. So let's take a look. Um, wow. Uh, Morgan has definitely a lot of resist. I mean, female Morgan, like I assumed she would, because it was just going to be uh, quite as powerful. But then um, I noticed over on the other side, uh, well, man, those both of them actually have substantial stats, um, at least when it comes to their, you know, their characters and everything like seriously flying unit. Pretty decent stats. Um, Morgan over there, really good stat pool for a red tome unit. Well, you know, 34 attack is pretty nice. And of course, he does have that tome that is going to buff up everyone else's speed. So we'll see how well that goes. Um, I really don't have to tell you that Morgan has a good enough stat spread that she could probably run a blade tome if you decide to use that over, you know, the snake one or whatever it is called now, the serpent one. Uh, let's see here. Krom. Wow, that that's some pretty high attack. Speed's not that great. Defense is fine. Res is pretty terrible. Well, I mean, it's a Cavalier unit. Can't really expect too much from that. But do remember that the more damage he kind of has or takes, uh, it activates his weapon. So I guess that's pretty nice. And then finally, we have Jerome, who I really have no idea about just yet. Um, he seems pretty cool. I, I, I think he will be a pretty neat uh, in, you know, addition to any team. I mean, 38 attack. Yeah, sure. Defense is pretty good, res and speed is not so great. But then again, that's going to be a bit of a trying thing. We'll have to take a look at his weapon. But anyways, and everything else, we'll talk about that a bit later. But there's your stats for those characters in case you wanted to know. All right, moving on to the next part. See you in a bit. Hey, nerds. So in case you couldn't tell, 2.3 is now available. All you have to do is go to your storefront, you know, Google Play, iTunes, one of those two. And you will find it. So uh, good luck updating. It adds a lot of things. We're going to go over a few of them, mostly name, most namely the uh, new, uh, you know, <laughs> weapons. That's what I was really interested in. And you can kind of tell that uh, uh, Soren kind of has a different one now. That's right. He has Winsbrand. I have already given it to him. So, you know, you don't have to wait. And at the start of turn, inflicts negative seven attack on foe on the en enemy team with the highest attack through its next action. Jesus Christ, that's a mouthful, but it reminds me a lot of Gunthra's abilities. But that isn't all we're going to be talking about real quick. Let's go through this and let's find our uh, our new newly imagined uh, weapons that, uh, you know, can be refined and all this fun stuff. I, of course, already have them technically here for us. So let's start off with my good boy, Leo, who I really want to have something. OK. Um, oh, if foe uses bow, dagger, magic or staff and units defense is greater than or equal to foe's defense plus one, foe cannot make a follow up attack. OK, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. It's just that that basically is what I I guess uh, would be the closest thing to what he had in uh, Fates, I, I guess, but, uh, you know, I'm not too certain about that one, but, uh, I mean, it's decent. I, 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 it stops a follow-up attack, which is definitely pretty nice, and he does have the defense, at least usually, to deal with that. Mine, unfortunately, has life and death on it. All right, let's go to Sigland. During combat, grants bonus to attack, speed, defense, res, equal to the highest bonus on allies within two spaces? Each stat bonus calculated independently? What? Okay, that is that is scary stuff. And why the hell do I have obstruct? <laughs> or is that uh, that's hit and run? I'm d no drag back. Oh, that's what she actually has normally. Anyways, but yeah, I'm <sighs> I'm honestly really that that could be that could be really cool. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. That... Oh my god, I, I... Just thinking about that makes my brain melt. That that could be a very good potential for a skill, you know, that you want to use. I, I don't know if you're going to upgrade it, but that, that looks really, really nice. I, I just... It amazes me. All right. Next up, let's talk about Soren, finally, who is available here, of course. And with Soren, we need to see what his new Winds brand does, which, uh... Oh. During con... Oh. <laughs> okay. Um... Apparently, w upgrading Winds brand just gives it, uh, you know, combat boosts, attack, speed, defense, res, by number of adjacent allies. Oh! Okay, so Owl Tome, in a sense? Uh, that's... that's... So he gets an upgrade. I, I mean, that that would probably be the closest thing I could think of. I'm pretty sure it's an Altome, but uh, during combat boosts, yeah, that's it's uh it's that's that's quite a quite a nice little ability for him. I don't know how well it'll you know add to that, but uh, hey, if you want to try it out, I say by God, try it out. All of those weapons seem pretty good, but none. At least Siglin seems really nice. I'm really wondering how. Uh, Brynhildr is going to affect anything, if at all, when it comes down to that. But that's not the last thing we're here to talk about. Uh, there is a new squad assault, I checked. Um, there is, of course, this. Yep. Er, you know, the uh, brigade, or rival domains, I guess, uh, <laughs> where you make a brigade. Uh, so, you do not earn, you will not earn EXP or uh, SP from this. Reinforcements will not gain, will not gain boosts from legendary effects. Oh. Oh, okay, so basically... All right, we'll take a more in-depth look at this. I just wanted to show you where it was. It's pretty obvious. It's under special maps, but uh, huh? If, if it, ta it, it takes two, it's defeat a camp. It then becomes yours. You can warp to a camp you control. What? Warning, uh, warping adjacent allies to a fortress or camp they control can instantly warp to a space adjacent another fortress or camp. Okay. Good lord, this is so... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to wait on that one, because I'm not so certain what I'm gonna be doing with all of this. So we'll come back to that a little bit later with, uh, you know, an Apple squad and maybe something a little bit more better designed. But let's go take a look. Oh, well, there you guys go. You get the first blessed garden. And then, of course, it talks about who are blessed heroes of battle, etc., etc., etc. So, huh. All right, so the idea here is, from what I can tell, is to... Days until new map, days until new map, so... All right, Garden of Water's going away in two days. Basically, three days, I guess. But, uh, huh. You must have four allies. It may, uh, not contain duplicates, heroes, you know, all that fun stuff. This is gonna be fascinating, I don't... Oh, my goodness. This is... Do they... How m Oh, they give blessings too! Oh, that's so awesome! Good! Good, 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 good. Okay, and five orbs. This better damn well be worth it, so... They all give... Oh, dude, that gives Divine Dew! <laughs> divine Dew, guys! I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm losing my mind. Um... This is incredible. Well, let me just tell you, the, the ability to, uh... Get... You know, more blessings. I was kind of worried seeing this menu. I was like, oh no, are they gonna like fence this behind so many blessings? But no, every one of them gives a blessing and gives you a, uh, you know, another reward. Five orbs, divine dew. Oh my goodness gracious. It's, it's awesome. I'm gonna have to go through all of that. Let's we'll probably save that a vi for a video where I'm actually playing. Yes, I know. Crazy, right? And then, um, we'll. We'll look, take a look and see what else there will be for this update. I'm really, really excited that... Uh, I'm sorry if I was just like, huh, the water blessing thing seems kind of a lot. And then it's just like, bam, here's all this other crap you get to do weekly. Oh my goodness gracious, goodness. That's great. Divine Dew. Orbs. Feathers. And it all... And of course, blessings. And it all just uh, apparently re-rolls every week or so. So that's great. Honestly, I'm really excited to delve into this update with you guys, but uh, there's everything we know. I'll, I'll keep you updated when we have stats for characters and things like that, okay? For now, though, that was just your guide through the new updates and everything that was added. All right, catch you later.